Hey you guys, welcome. I am here with a giant grocery store not in size pickup and let's see what $82 gets me. Not as much as it used to, right? Hey, welcome, hi, I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Co. And we are doing um, a grocery pickup. It's been a while. And I decided I'm, I'm gonna make this like um, chicken thing, um, ground chicken meats which I can't remember the recipe right now, but it's in my phone. And then this is like a French onion soup, beef crock pot kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And um, yeah, and I got some cube stew meat, which I'm gonna do some borscht, not this week. I froze that in the chicken, cause I know, and I have hamburger out today to make spaghetti. But let's start, let's see. I um, was craving a muffin. And I got one. So we'll see how it is later at $1.50. So I got one. They were trying to sell you four. I got a bag of onions because you're gonna cut up a bunch of onions in the crock pot. I've never made this before. But this is three pounds, three ninety nine, dollars right? I won't use all these, but you, she said a lot and she said, don't worry about it because obviously they cook way down. Okay, I didn't order this many, but okay. So this is $1.52, love it, but they're good. They're nice and green, so I've been out of my bananas. And then, let's see. I had bought one of these, and I couldn't find it, and I thought, well, I don't remember using it, but I had it on top of the refrigerator. So the moolah, this is my favorite. Is it ma ula? I don't know. I love this milk. It, not that I have milk a lot, but this is... Um, 219 and then this one I like to have just um it is a backup for tea and stuff so this is a dollar it was on sale so a dollar 79 a dollar 69 so that will set me for a little bit and we've all been using somebody's half and half at work to make the frother stuff but the frother is broken we're waiting for a part it's been traumatic but anyway I got some of that to replace at work and that is um 319 so and I love how giant does it so that was like all the dairy in one bag right um, so. and then this bag I got some of the magic erasers ultra th ultra thick and they um let me see these were substituted so I ordered um, a six count for $5.79 and I got three. They're thicker for $5.49 on sale. So they all do the trick, right? And I got some bread. I'm trying to eat healthier bread. And they substituted it. Not that I really know the difference. Um, but I had ordered Dave's Killer Bread Organic Sprouted Whole Grain Thin Sliced Bread. And this is... Dave's Killer Bread Organic Power Seed Thin Sliced Bread. So I don't know the difference, um, $5.99. But if you're gonna have bread, you might as well have get some protein and omegas and fiber. Um, so tell me you guys, what's your favorite like healthy bread to eat? And then, so this I got, I got, I had ordered the one that had um, beefy onion soup, but they were out of it. So same price, two oh nine, and I know these things are toxic, but it is hard to find something that will um, replace it. So I think you get two in here, two. So I love this. I can make it again. And like I said, the stew meat I put away, and that was um. Boneless beef round cube stew meat, um, uh, 99 cents a pound. So I got, it was eight ninety. Does that make sense? It does not make sense. No, it was one pound for eight ninety nine a pound. That makes sense. And then the, um, it was 90, natural 92 lean, 8% fat ground chicken fresh was four seventy nine. I mean, these look good. They were on sale. So bourbon apple chicken sausage. 
So I can cut these up and put them with stuff. And these particularly say nitrate free. Well, it says no added nitrates or nitrites. Okay. And these are, um, they were on sale for $6.49 to $4.99. So, and I can just wrap these up individually. And I did get some red roasted hummus. I haven't had hummus lately, so I was wanting that. And that was $3.99. And I know I'm supposed to be making mine. And these I know you shouldn't get them cut, but I'm gonna throw them in my thing and then have them with hummus. And they are 99 cents. Sometimes you just have to, right? I just said. So this is cheese. I did not mean, I got half a pound of cheese. And this is the, um, it's kind of domestic Swiss. I like the Alpine Lace Swiss. Um, so I don't know, but this is 509. Cause you want to make some sandwiches with that, um, with that meat. And then here is, this was the most expensive thing. But this is going to feed me for quite a while. Um, so this is chuck roast. 3.11 pounds, 7.99 a pound, so 24.85. So all this will go in and that's gonna, um, so what I'm gonna do is freeze some of it so I can have it. Cause I, like I said, I found some chili in the refrigerator at work that my friend had made me. Actually, I found another soup and you know, my gosh, you get tired of eating something, but then like two weeks later, you're like, oh yeah, that looks really good. So this will be thrown in the crock pot. And I'll show you guys that. It's a new recipe. And I just spilled my drink everywhere. So and that on. is basically it. What they didn't have was I wanted some of those hoagie rolls. Um, and they didn't have them. Um, and then I got, I was just not hitting. I ordered, it's good because I ordered too much bread. The Nature's Promise Bakery Cranberry Walnut Artisan Bread Slice. I love all that. It was $5.49 that didn't come. So when I had about like 210 and save that. But I did get a lot of points for getting my vaccine there. And so I have $1.60 off a gallon of gas, which I'll be doing tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it adds up. It's insane. But really what's amazing is I'm really eating all my food. So that's super helpful. And like before I would have put the stew meat and the chicken and think, oh yeah, I'll make it. Well, I, I don't know, but I can, I can defrost it. So um, definitely... So today I'm making spaghetti because I have hamburger out. I've been craving. I got lots of pasta, so I have to figure out ways to kind of incorporate some of that pasta. And then I have, um, I'm going to make this yumminess for tomorrow. And you can, you know, you can eat it as it is. You can make a quesadilla. You can do it over rice. You could do it over noodles, over potatoes. Just, you know, however your salad. I, get, I don't know. I'll be eating it over something good. And, um... I kind of letting like if something's not clean or perfect or how not eating or not making stuff and that's not good for me because then I make worse choices. But yeah, so I'm trying to think here. There, I I really you know before I would have bought tons of these and these were not that more than Walmart really. So I thought I need them. Want to do some cleaning with them. But really, other than that, oh the muffin. I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. Cause I gotta have some eggs or something with it. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to um, use up. I forgot to get peppers and tomatoes. So tomorrow, if I go to the Dollar Tree, I'll run in somewhere and grab some cherry tomatoes and peppers. What I'm craving is making that um, feta recipe, but maybe with borzon. So you take, normally it's feta. You put a bunch of, you put feta, you put tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes, you put whatever seasonings you want. Now, if you use borzon, you really wouldn't need it. Some olive oil, bake it in the oven till it's all melted, boil some kind of pasta, mix it all in, and it is lovely. And then I didn't get it this time, but I have some, I'm going to get some like chicken strips from Trader Joe's, and then you can just cut that up and put it in there if you want protein with it. Um, maybe that'd be good with my meat. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm trying to concentrate on less packaged things. So I think I did really well. Um, I mean, really, this is the only thing. And I've tried, like, you know, I can make my own taco seasoning. 
and I've tried, there's probably something out there, but I've tried, and I'm sure this is not high on Yucca because of the caramel color. So you guys, if you know a healthier version of this, let me know or how to make it yourself. I mean, it's a lot, anyway. So that is what that was. So yeah, I'm trying to stick to a plan and not just go willy nilly. Like, so tomorrow if I go in where the Dollar Tree is, there's a, um, there's an Aldi and there's a Lytle and I don't go to Lytle too often. So sometimes I go over there first and um, they probably have boars on a lot less. And then, so I want some boars on, I want cherry tomatoes and I want to look at the apples and see if they have any good apples and um, some uh, peppers to cut up with my hummus and stuff. So, and actually to actually to do some like roasted peppers and on, uh, roasted peppers to put on like top of it, make like a hoagie. I was craving like this sandwich I used to get at like our local sort of, you know, dive place to eat. And I thought, you know what? You want, it's cheaper if you make it. And you comes with French fries and I don't like the French fries. So why are you gonna get them? So that was my thinking behind it. And um, yeah, you know, with um, not having the amount of ADHD medicine in my brain, it's a struggle, but I'm okay. I just keep thinking, okay, it's, let's stop using the word struggle. It's just different. And, um, but I know for, I was looking at a list I made of things to do. Like number one today is gorgeous. I'm going to take a walk, right? I have, and I really starting tomorrow, I'm going to get up and do at least 10 minutes. If I do longer, that's great, but I have to get that going. Right. And I, most of this week I've had green tea first before I had coffee. I've delayed the coffee because I don't want, I have, I have, you know, my creamer has sugar in it and I'll, I mean, for me, it's not a lot, but I don't want to start my day with that, you know, so I'm trying to have water, a green tea and shake up my body in a different way. And then, um, yeah, so I've, today I'm really, I've made a list, you know, and there's house caring, like I'm getting ready to put you guys on fast forward and work on my kitchen, get, and then I'll pop in and we'll do some of the recipes together. But, um, you know, stretching, just breathing, just simple things. Like uh, I was looking for, um, since you can't do two bar body parts at physical therapy if they're not on the same side. Okay. But looking at some um, maybe good stretches for knees with ar arthritis. You know, YouTube has everything, right? And somebody told me, um, Friend Peggy told me about a really good person who does yoga. So I have that already saved. So just adding, especially on my days off, some like more time of self-care, right? But uh, yeah, so my friend's son is gonna come and help me in the yard. And actually I have things that um, can go up and down stairs. So I'm gonna do that first. And um, cause in my library, there is a lot of, um, there's, a, I found more boxes of photo stuff, like big boxes. So I'm just going to have all that go up in my room and take my time sorting through it. And so that is a big thing. And then that's going to clear in front of this thing that I can start decluttering out of. And I've got, I've been saving little boxes at work that I can start putting things in to donate. So it's easy to carry. It's not going to be a big deal. And um, so I'm gonna work on that, but the first floor, I'm gonna do good cleaning and um, vacuuming, dusting, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, getting my table a little bit clearer. And somehow, I think after, um, now my, you know, my friend's busy and she, she always says yes right away because she wants to help, she's very helpful. Y'all, I treated myself to a um, pumpkin. I can when I order it, I'm like a mess. I said, I want the cold pumpkin drink with ice with the cream on top. And then she tells me what it is, I'm like, yes. And she goes, what size? I'm like, medium, because I can't remember the name of the Italian word, so. And you know what? Don't care, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I just, you know. Oh, and it's so good, I want to enjoy it. Y'all, and it is gorgeous outside. 
But the other thing I'm gonna have him do is I need to clean the top of my deck off because Kenny's gonna come power wash it and paint it. So, and I've taken off what I felt comfortable taking off and save. So I'm gonna have him do that. And then some weeding. And then in the garage, I'm gonna have him bring, I didn't park, I'm gonna have him bring down all this stuff that I believe Halloween is in and put that in the center of the garage. So we can go through that and I can make some decisions, right? And I wanna make space for, you know, my roommate, I told her, you know, I don't know how much you still have in um, storage, but you know, you probably won't be able to park your car, but if you wanna bring it and save that money, I'm, it's a garage, that's what it's meant for. And then also on the top ledge, um, if I feel like he's stable and he's not going to fall, it's okay with his mother, I'm going to have him, I have all this empty stuff up there, right? Like empty containers, stuff like that. So I do want to take that down and then maybe, you know, I don't know what um, my roommate's stuff's going to look like, but maybe, she, and I know she has a suitcase and stuff like that. So I know we can at least put that up there and other stuff. Um, that you don't need to get to very often. So I'm kind of thinking in my head and yeah, it's not, it's not as comfortable and easy as I'd like it to be, but I can do it. It's just different. And yeah, but there's a lot of empty containers I save for her. So we'll see what she needs and what she doesn't need. And then I'll offer them to Sophia and her crew. Cause you know, containers are expensive and they're just too big for me. I just can't, I've kept a couple like for lighter things is fine, but I just cannot, I have to, I have to adapt how I do things to how my body is right now. Maybe it will change, I don't know, but I don't think it's ever smart for me to be carrying big things up and down stairs. The day has come and gone and I'm okay with that. So that's my thinking behind all of this. And, um, but yeah, it's just, and gosh, y'all, I wanna sit outside and do some reading or breathing or meditating and just, you know, one of the things I wrote down is you need to get in nature every single day. And, you know, take my shoes off, run it over my grass. And, you know, that Kenny is amazing. I'm going to really try to get him on camera and you guys meet him. But he just came on, he had the day off and he came and he, he mowed my backyard because he knows I'm struggling. And I said to him, angels exist on earth. And he said, yes, they do. And I said, and I'm lucky enough that one has a house key. Wow. Count those blessings, y'all. Count the blessings. So that's kind of what's going on. And then um, November 11th, some of my, my, there's four of us that hang out together all the time when we can on a, cause we work different schedules now. We don't work at the same place, obviously. So federal holidays, we try to get to bed together. And I'm like, hey, it's been a long time since they've come to my house. So what I want to do is have them help me get Christmas down and go through some of it and then have them take some of it and just hang out and eat and talk. And um, so I think that would be really, so my goal will be to have Halloween put away and then, um, yeah, and I, I really want everything down and then, um, you know, I don't have to go through everything with them, of course, but have it. And that's my goal for Christmas is to really narrow this stuff down and be realistic. And watching all this just, I don't know what to call what's happening. You know, and it's not that these people in Florida aren't suffering, they're suffering. But you live on a barrier island. But I don't know a lot about North Carolina other than that has always been in the back of my head where I might want to retire. Because, you know, it's south enough. It's, it's, it still gets kind of the four seasons. It's, and you go from the ocean to the mountains. And it just seemed like, um, and people are really nice, right? They really are genuine and nice and... Um, there's always something in the back of my head. I'd want to explore that. As a matter of fact, one of my mom's like closest friend lives there. I was going to, at some point, now that I have Joanna, um, would like to go and um, maybe hang out on a weekend with her and just get a feel for where she lives and see her. And then I have a good friend in um, outside of Richmond. So those are two things I'd like to do. At least just spend, you know, I don't know how far my her name's Trees, how far she lives in North Carolina, I don't know. I know Richmond's about mm, probably a good three, three and a half hour drive, but it'd be nice to go stay the night. But she makes amazing Mexican food and I know she'll send me home with a bunch. But yeah, so that's the plan is I'm gonna start freezing stuff. So I've been going through the freezers and um, you know, as I don't buy as many package things that need to be in there, um, I'll have room. And what I do need to do is 
I have to look at Walmart and see like things that you can go in the freezer and freeze. First, I'm going to see what I have. And, um, you know, and I have my, my Ziploc machine thing, you know, that oh, takes all the air out. What's that called? It's, a, it's some kind of sealer thing. So I want to get a little bit more into thinking like that. So I still can't believe these groceries were like, let's say $85. I don't, what are people doing? And I still want to get apples. I want to get, I really though, maybe I will wait and run, I'm going to run by Trader Joe's on Monday and get apples. They usually have really good apples. You know, cherry tomatoes, sweet, no. Oh yeah, I, actually I would like to get some sweet potatoes and um, I forgot, it's in my phone. It's okay. Is that going to be 20 more dollars? I'll go to 100. But I am going to start eating some of my pasta. I want to eat down my my cap my my pantry and then also if i really if there's something i'm thinking you are not going to eat this i found another food bank um that's between here and work and they also are really clever because they put you know expired food lasts a lot longer than you think and they have a little chart which is nice like cake mixes and stuff like that are like eight months out from the date so um and of course other stuff is much longer and i have some stuff in my garage right now so I want to do that and, and you know, um, people constantly need food. You know, if I didn't have a roommate, I, I don't know. I have to be eating everybody's food in the freezer or refrigerator at work. I had a, somebody I know was cooking and then she needed dried mushrooms and she didn't have time. And so she Instacarted it. So it cost her like $30 to get these like package of $12 mushrooms. And I thought that's a luxury. Even buying these carrots, right? But I know where I am right now and that I need to make it easy for myself, right? As easy as I can because I, I, it's just food has been sketchy. And, um, and I can't look, I, at the end of the day, I'll have oatmeal, but I need more and I'm working on my protein y'all protein, 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 protein. Um, you know, if you're trying to get like, I don't know, like 120 grams of protein, my shake is basically 50. So that's awesome. Right. But I'm really working on it. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop talking cause I have lots to do. I'm going to put stuff away and then I'm going to, I'm going to put you on fast forward. I'm going to get busy. And then when we, um, I, I, I'm going to get some general stuff put away. And then we are going to actually, um, I'm going to take a minute and we're going to do the crock pot and then we're going to do the quiche. Cause quiche is, I love it. This quiche, quiche, quicheless quiche. It's no, it's not quiche. You know, and it's not it's crustless quiche. So I have spinach, I have peppers, um, I have a big clamato left. I'm just going to cut up and drain it and throw that in. Got some cheese. We got to go through my cheese drawer. I feel like it's out of control. And I got to just get it out and look at what I have. A oh, borzon. That's what I wanted. Um, so anyway, that's what's happening. And um, is I feel really sad and tired. And I'm trying to rise above it. I'm going to put some good music on. And just take care of myself. Take care of my house. And be so thankful. I'm thankful every day every day and um still a lot to do and going on but every day and hopefully you know my friend's son will work out and if it doesn't it doesn't but i need a young person that i can um hire you know to do a couple things for me and that's you know i've got to um work on that and you know asking the angels to find me that person so anyway you take care and um i'm gonna do this separate i think and then i will do um I think plus I have like five others to post. I'm so sorry. For some reason when I went to so when I go into iMovie and then I export it to my phone and then I can put on, on YouTube, it's a dine of space and I just my brain was like I just deleted so much stuff, but I will do it again. So all right guys, you take care and um yeah, I don't know. What are you eating? What's a good meal that's not that expensive that you're loving right now? And um you know, I'm just one person. I do share a lot, but um, yeah, I'm thinking like batches, 
and freeze stuff. And especially at work, I went through and cleared out a lot of stuff. So I have a lot of room in the freezer. So that would be perfect for lunch and dinner there. Just have it, you know, I don't keep a little chart in my phone. So there's actually this app I use. And I'm going to go back and use it again because it actually, I think it's called Cook's List and it tells you everything. And um, so that might, I might zero it out and just start fresh. I, and plus, yeah. Anyway, cheers. Happy fall. And I'll see you soon. So the crock pot maybe needs to live on the counter because I was impatient, didn't get the stepping stool. I didn't take it down in parts. I tried to reach it, the lid came, the glass lid and cracked me in the head. So, and it hurts a lot. <sighs> like I could cry. Stuff like that, right? Stuff like that, crazy. I hope it doesn't throw me in vertigo because this is a side that if I hit my head or something, but it's more here than here. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, there's a dent. <sighs> Tell Joanne if you find me passed out on the floor, call an ambulance because I have a concussion. So, it's so funny because I've always been seen kind of like klutzy and like off balance and, you know, looking back at my life and knowing, yeah, ADHD, I was off balance and um, the energy and the, my mind energy is so much faster than my body and I'm doing something before my body can catch up or this impulsivity is insane. I literally have a divot. I'm gonna sit here for a second, have a moment. I don't suppose that would rip my retina because he said there's nothing really I can do. I have to keep a lookout. Like I have more little retina, more little floaters, but he said it has to be like boom and explosion. Anyway, I think the crock pot is going to live on the counter while I'm using it. Wow, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta look at the recipe. And um, Next is to cut onions, but I'm gonna take a part of a Tylenol and I'm gonna make sure I'm okay. And um, yeah, pay attention. You think you are, you don't know you aren't. Your brain is so much. I'm not saying if I had my medicine, this would not have happened, but the odds were much better it wouldn't. Just unbelievable. But, you know, it's so interesting, it has me really rethinking my childhood and some of the stuff, you know, I'm not going to say stigmatisms, but, you know, stuff that you, you incorporate, you know, people are always like you're klutzy or, oh, Tracy always does this, or it always happens to Tracy. You internalize that. Even if you don't want to, if you don't know you're doing it, of course you don't know when you're younger. But I'm looking at it now with fresh eyes and seeing, you know, it defined me in a way that wasn't related to brain function. Just some sort of flaw that people found funny. Because I was funny. Where's this coming from? Jeez, I'm so tired of crying. But it's harder to regulate your emotions when your brain's not functioning in the way it, it can. It's just, 
Well, I barely, this was not expected. I wasn't expecting to really chunk out my head either because it hurts. So I'm going to go have an ugly cry and then I'll be back.